Hi, Shane here with RepairDisk. Today we're going to take a look at the internal wiki. The first thing you're going to do is go up here to integrations and click on that. And then as well as clicking on the internal wiki link and clicking here to get started. Uh, internal wiki is a great place to store uh, policies, procedures, and operations, um, user created content, uh, as well as an access point to videos that are out there on the internet or maybe or maybe making your own. Uh, next you're going to be clicking on the internal wiki button to activate it. Then you're going to click on configuration and uh, you'll have a main category and you can change the, the level of the categories uh, and then you have a visible button. Um, so the first one we're going to make is uh, policies. It will be a parent category and I'm going to click the visible button and then click save. Then you can go to main ca manage categories and you can and you can see that it's there. Uh, you can delete them at will and you can uh, make them visible or not visible from the manage categories tab. Uh, as well as see subcategories which we don't have any yet. Uh, so I'm going to go back to con configuration and I'm going to add uh, um, procedures it will be apparent again I will make sure I click visible and click save and then I'm going to manage categories and you can see that it's there too I'm going to go back to basic and then I'm, I'm going to add repair videos It's going to be apparent. I'm going to click visible and then click save. So I've created my uh, my three main categories, and if you go to your uh, wiki tab down here, you can now see that they are there. Now, something you may want to do is uh, stop a minute and think about what you want in the internal wiki as far as categories. Uh, this is just as an example. These are some that I use. Um, and you can't change the order so you know if you wanted uh, repair videos at the top you would want to make sure you create uh, that category first uh, so you may just want to stop and uh, write them down uh, the categories that you may want and put them in the order you want and uh, start out that way and that way it's a lot cleaner and and to your liking we're going to show you subcategories now and I'm going to start off with iPhone and I'm going to change the category level to repair videos and I'm going to make sure you make sure you click on the visible button so you can see it actually see it on the uh, internal wiki I'm going to, on the uh, internal wiki I'm going to save it and click on manage categories and repair videos and you can see that it's there I'm going to go ahead and add a second one uh, I'm going to change the category level to repair videos as well and make it visible and save and now you can see that there are two listed now one thing you may want to do is uh, again stop and sit back and think about your subcategories per category and make sure you list them the way you want to because again every time you make a new one it's just going to list it below it and you, you can't ship them around um, so now if you go look in, uh, at the internal wiki you will notice that there are two subcategories below repair videos and you're gonna go up here to the green button go down and choose the subcategory and for this case I'm gonna do an i5 I'm not gonna add any content yet I'm just gonna save it so now you can see that there is a an i5 on there I'm going to go back in there select repair videos iPhone again and this is where when you click on iPhone or that subcategory this is where you can add another so quickly I'm just going to add i6 no content I'm going to hit save and again you can now see that there are two and if you want to edit those or add content you would click on that 
and, and there it is and I'm going to click on edit so now we're to content so now we're to content um, and you can type anything in you want you can copy and paste you can add images you can do many different things one of the things we like to do the most is uh, videos so I'm going to show you real fast how you how you would do that uh, so you'll highlight it and you'll hit the the link button and we don't have an address yet we need a video um, so I'm going to show you how to do that and uh, in this case we're going to show you YouTube and we're going to change it to unlisted and select your video and open it and it's going to upload it and this will generally take a few minutes and uh, like I said we also use Vimeo sometimes too as well um, your link will appear shortly after pressing upload so I'm going to copy that and then paste it there and click OK and then I'm going to save it now uh, I'm going to exit and exit and go to the internal wiki and now you can see that it's there and I'm going to open it on a new tab and if the uh, if the video is finished uploading you, you would be able to watch it but it is still processing at this time and generally it only takes a few minutes or so uh, so the next thing uh, that's basically it uh, a few little different ideas uh, on how to use the wiki um, this is actually the one we use at our shop and as you can see we have repair videos just for iPhone just the i5 through the 7 plus uh, we have probably about 70 or 80 or so videos on Vimeo uh, but I only put these on the internal wiki because when we start training somebody um, we want them to stay with these phones because uh, we see instant training every day they'll get to, to work on this training and then eventually they'll get a point uh, to where we'll allow them to do other phones and give them access to Vimeo directly uh, to where they can access all those other videos um, we like the videos you know we train them uh, to the way we want it done not how someone does it on YouTube the way we actually want it done internally in our shop um, so that, that makes it very nice and, and uniform um, you can also link it to videos on YouTube that are already existing you don't have to make your own that's just what we do um, then we have one for procedures you know opening and closing just written out um, different things um, mobile centrics returns we have one returns return instructions and shipping uh, phone calls this is how to take uh, take on TV take on TV repair calls over the phone uh, we have one a category for staff and then we added this one uh, last month meetings we actually take uh, minutes at the meetings and and put them here just so we have a record of, of what we went over um, so it makes it uh, a very nice way to train your staff uh, to put uh, instructions and, and different things in one place where everybody can get. We hope this brief look into the Eternal Wiki helps you setting up your own Eternal Wiki and take your shop to the next level. If you own a cell phone or computer repair shop and are looking for a high quality point of sale software to keep track of repair jobs, stay on top of inventory, look no further and sign up for free, or if you have any questions, please feel free to contact the RepairDesk team at support at repairdesk.co. Thanks for watching.